post his motherfucking stats. It's been such a while since I had an opportunity to say that. Hey, look, the game is still going on, but um, Zola's already hit his minute limit, so he's not coming back in. So it's good and safe to talk about this. Um, it's the normal Zo games. Knocking down threes, he hit two layups. Um, so he finished with 10 points, a rebound, and an assist. Okay, Highly efficient night. Only played like 15 minutes since some change. Um, the defense was there. He swatted Julius Randle shot. I mean, you know, just diving into, you know, the bench to save the ball and keep the ball in play. Like, the quarterbacking, the defense, like Troy Palomalu, it's typical Zo theater. We haven't had an opportunity to do this in quite some time. But I got to tell you, if you had a chance to watch the game, I didn't even watch all of it. I watched the first half, and I was so I was like, I'm good. I already knew once he hit them first two threes, I was like, I'm good. I don't even see anything the rest of the season. I already know what to expect. But I went ahead and watched the entire first half and called it a day after that. But um, look, man, Zoe is gonna be Zoe. All right, defense fine. Um, you know. He's not going to be able to hold everybody one-on-one anymore. But that's not the strongest core piece of his game. The Bulls were arguably at their best on defense when it was him and Caruso. And Caruso was point of attack and Zoe got to cover down on whoever and help the next defender that needed it. He was good enough to hold his own one-on-one with his guy. And Caruso could have the other one. And then if... They, if the ball was on the other side of the week, actually, he'd come and support, you know, Vooch. He'd come and support DeMar or Zach Levine, elevating the team's defense. And he had the IQ, the wherewithal, the timing. And guess what? You saw some of that stuff tonight, too, if you, you know, got to watch the game. But this is the guy that the Bulls wanted. And I'm going to be honest with you. Giddy? Did not look impressive. He did not. Um, I've already been discussing in my chat and other places some issues I have with Giddy and Zoe. I'm going to put that in video form for you guys uh, soon. Probably not, you know, the, within the next couple days. But, you know, maybe by Sunday or Monday I'll have that posted. But I have some concerns. I mean, there's some good things to like about Giddy and Zoe, but I have some concerns. Some things I think are valid, um, stuff that people aren't talking about when discussing them because, you know, it's like, you'll see comments like, oh, that passing backcourt, and the passing is there, but their games are different, and from the stuff that you're hearing Billy Donovan and the team talk about, I think it's prevalent that there's a discussion had on, you know, Giddy and Zoe, but that's, that's some content I'll put out uh, within the next week or so. Other than that, man, it's good to see Zoe back. You know, he got a round of applause, standing ovation. Um, commentator showed him love. You know, Zach and him had a moment. Um, some of the other, like, accounts, Bleacher and stuff, they were posting Zoe. So it was like, you know, you would have thought he was like a superstar, like Derrick Rose, who had taken an injury and came back, but... I mean, it's Zo, and they know he moves the algorithm. And when Zo's back, you know, <laughs> the league is just better with Zo, the Ball family in general, but especially Zo. But that's all I got. Post his motherfucking stats, man. Y'all have a good one.